Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, we just did our pre-trip. Got three more minutes, and then we're gonna roll over and get some fuel. And then we're gonna head to our delivery. I don't know. I could have swore yesterday when I looked at the dispatch for this place, it was between seven and four, the delivery time. Now, all of a sudden, it's at seven o'clock. So throughout the night, somebody's changed something for delivery time in the system. So uh, I had to start a little early, which doesn't bother me, I'd rather. But um, once I get there and back in, I gotta plug in this address to this grain place so I can go way, and then I get an empty way, and then I gotta drive over. It's supposedly only a half a mile from the shipper, so that's not an issue. So go over there, get weighed, go a half a mile, go to the shipper, get loaded. But if a shipper is like asking for an empty weight, but they tell you it's 43,000 pounds, who have you been loading that you need an empty weight of a truck? I mean, I know basically what my empty weight is, and I know what weights I can pull. <clears throat> I wouldn't accept the load if it was more. So either you're lying about the weights, or you're an idiot, and you want to see if you can get more. That would be the only thing, the reasons I would think. I don't know why anybody lies on weights. Jesus Christ. It's not like the 70s or 80s where you got charged by the pound and you're not shipping out to hell, so you're still not getting charged by the pound. You're getting charged by the friggin' mile. So, be truthful on your weights. Lie to the frickin' common carriers or the <clears throat> LTL people, and they're still going to catch you because most LTL companies are smart enough that when they get a piece back, they reweigh it anyway. And make the adjustment. So, don't understand that. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, sorry it's a little noisy, but I thought you might like to see this. Picking up a load of ground up corn cobs. Um, I guess they do it in two ways. This way in bulk. And then packaged, you know, in uh, the fiber bags. And that, that's what I'm picking up, 45,000. You think it would be a whole lot lighter, but apparently it's not. If you got 26 pallets and it's 45,000, ground up corn cobs must be pretty dense. Unless that mountain over there is uh, not the corn cobs, but the uh, something else, but I w wouldn't think so. That might just be the corn cobs itself. But yeah, this other stuff's ground up to like a fine powder. It's actually. This warehouse has got about a half inch coating of it. It's like walking on a, a cushion. Well, thought you'd like to see this, so we'll see in a little bit once we get rolling. Okay, everybody, while well, we're loaded, we had to go back to that scale. And I have a program where you just enter in your drive, steer, tractor weight, and trailer weight gives you what your axles are. Came out to 34.7 on my drives and I had a few pins so I slid it all the way up. The only thing though is it's hard to get an accurate weight when the weight's being transferred back. Because the scale you kind of go up a hill to it. So you got the now you got a bend, so you got more weight pulling down. But the trailer was right about 33 when I was pulling off. So I slid it up a couple notches. So at the very most, we're 34.1, 34.2. 
34 2 on the drives, but I should be past a scale. It's all, in all reality, all except for 80 94 in Indiana, it's all toll road.
so we're going to leave my time to my fleet manager. Um, we're going to set it up I get there at 8 o'clock their time, 7 my time. So I'll leave about 6 in the morning. So about 5.30 I'll go on, do my pre-trip, go around fuel, and head out there. Alright, we'll see you in the morning.